his friends here from the jungle. Good morning, guys. My name is Bianca, and my name is Bianca the Bunny, and I love to pop these flowers on the ground. Do you want to know how? Here in my field where I live, I'm always looking for carrots. Sometimes, however, I think I see a carrot, but instead I find an, an orange flower. And then I go and sniff it, but when I sniff those flowers, I get this yellow stuff all over my nose. All that pollen, the sticky stuff, gets me sneezy, so I find other flowers and I try to rub it off on those flowers. When I run this pollen off, I have pollinating those flowers, helping them grow. Hi guys, my name is Sarah. I live on the other side of the field. If I want to see my friend Bianca, I have to slither all the way over there. While I slither, I get pollen all over my stomach from all the flowers on the ground. When I finally get to see Bianca, she helps me get the pollen off and then we play hopscotch together. For some reason, she always wins. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, I am Barry the Bear and I love berries. The berries I eat are bright red, which happens to be my favorite color. I find berries all over trees and I can't wait to pick them off and eat them. Sometimes I find these beautiful flowers right next to the berries, but these flowers get yellow stuff all over my fur when I try to get the berries. So what I like to do is wipe off my fur when I try to get the berries. So what I like to do is wipe off all this yellow stuff on the next tree I go to. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Verinda the Bear, and I just love to watch little humans like you guys. And uh, while I watch the humans, I always see them drinking out of these red cups. And when I see them drink out of these red cups, they get all happy inside. So I thought to myself, maybe I should try and drink out of red cups, and then I'll be happy too. So I go around the forest looking for all these little red cups, and I find a tree that has red cups on it. So I go and I drink out of it, and it's the most sweetest thing I've ever had. So then I go to the next one, and then I find all this little yellow stuff on my skirt, on my paws. So then I go, and I go to the next one, and the next one, and I keep drinking out of it. And then I feel happy too. And while I drink, I make sure to wipe off my paws on the flowers. My mama bear always told me that if I'm going to eat my meal, I have to wipe off my hands first. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Larry the Lobster. As a lobster, I live in the sea and eat all kinds of fish. Fish have scales, but these flowers also look scaly. I go to these flowers because I think they look like yummy fish. When my antenna touches the flowers, they receive pollen all over them. Then I go to another fish looking flower and leave my pollen there. Those flowers are tricky and fishy. <laughs> like these. I will grant an award for the fair of citizens 
who pollinate the most to make the land more colorful again. The award will be a stay at the palace. Can non-pollinators participate as well, King Grasshopper? Yes, as long as you pair with someone else, you can participate. Let the games begin. Hey, do you want to do that concert for me? I really want to go to the palace to get all you can eat bananas. Bananas. <laughs> a chance to have all you can eat bananas? You can count me in. Let's make a banana split out of all these other competitors. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Young lady with the stripe. Right. Okay. Yeah. the tunes very well. Stand up too. On purpose. No. no. Why not? Well, I mean, we really 
can't think about stuff like that. We really just want nectar, mm -hmm. and we're just like looking for whatever gives us this. We're just looking for food, and as we look for food, the pollen attaches to our body, and we go to different flowers, and we go to different flowers, the pollen gets on the other side. Does, any, does anyone have any questions? You can raise your hand and they'll call in. Yes, please, purple shirt. Uh, in my school, we actually learned that humans are pollinators too. I think that's true. Because when we run around the grass um, and we and we touch, and then bushes touch us, the, the seeds get on us, the pollen or the seeds mm -hmm. get on us, and then when we keep on running around the plants, then, the, then they fall off and then we pollinate the plant. Good. That's true. Seed disperses another, another way, thing. That, and that's also another way that seeds travel to another place. Speaking of that, isn't there a result of pollination that we should see that's under the table in a basket? Yay! Okay. Now we have a question from over here. Now, I have a question. In the real world, do you think an alligator is a pollinator? Exactly. She said because lily pads might have flowers. But what about a lizard or a gecko? Are those pollinators? They actually can be. They drink nectar. Any other questions? Okay, let, let's clap for the puppeteers and thank you all very much. Okay. Oh, really?